guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nandi so in today's video we are going to be doing like a get ready with me so I was going to um, actually film a video and then I realized that I have to film two videos today um, so I had to do my makeup anyway so I figured that's like smarter and not harder around here so I'm gonna do another get ready with me um, but it's obviously to film and well to film again <laughs> um so i made me a nice little mocktail i've been giving my liver a well needed break so we are doing mocktails this month but today's topic um as you can see from the title is going to be how to trust your gut and i have been wanting to do this topic for a while solely because I feel like everyone is always like, oh, just trust your gut, like go with your instincts, like trust your instincts and stuff like that. But when a lot of people like don't, one, don't really know what it even feels like when your gut is like telling you something else. Um, so I feel like because of that, this video is well needed. So I'm not going to be going through like the items that I use because I do have a topic. Um, but if you guys are interested in like a full, full in-depth makeup routine, then let me know and I'll do one of those. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are gonna be talking about trusting your intuition. So, or trusting your gut. So usually what that refers to is like trusting your intuition and staying true to yourself so it, there's two ways that people basically describe this so one they either say that it's like a nagging feeling that they have um about a situation or they either describe it as like a rush of calmness after a situation so it really could be either one of those things so obviously if you feel that rush of calmness you would know that you know you did the right thing which honestly i feel like i don't know if we all have experienced this i know that i've definitely experienced that though like once you make a decision and you just like you just feel just like a load has just been lifted off of you you will probably see me looking at my notes also while i am you know doing this video you know we stay prepared we have notes written we do our research around here thank you so much so some of the signs that you could experience are tightness in your body um, as well as tingling or butterflies or nausea, anything like that. And let me say this, because I feel like sometimes the emotions can get a little mixed up. Like sometimes, especially the butterflies, because I think that sometimes you can have butterflies for different feelings. And so you might not know when this is like a dangerous situation for you. Like when is this, when this is like a situation that you should get out or when this is like a situation that you should stay in. So the butterflies are definitely a tricky one. The advice that I can offer for that is just knowing, I'd say just be aware. You'd have to be a little hyper aware of the way that your body reacts in certain situations. Um, because you could be with like a boy or a girl that you really like and you could get butterflies. So just assess the situation because your body will tell you um, because I know that when I get, when I, the way that I know that I'm anxious is I get like that butterfly type of feeling and I'll, it, cause it won't necessarily be a tightness. Um, it also says that you can have a, it's also described as like a sinking feeling sometimes, um, when you have returning thoughts about the situation and I, I'm going to touch on the returning thoughts in a second, but just you know, sometimes when I, I'm feeling a little anxious or I start to get uncomfortable, I also get, I can also get that butterfly feeling, but it's not butterflies because I'm happy. It's butterflies because I am anxious and I, you know, want to escape the situation. So I think just knowing 
the way that your body responds to certain situations is definitely going to be key and then also the returning feeling so let's say like you get asked a question or asked to make a decision and after you've made your decision you keep returning to the the decision like you're like dang i shouldn't have i should have done this or if you are constantly thinking about it then that is a situation where you know that you should have trusted your gut because if you know that you made the right decision for you it would be you would get that calm that ease that easeful type of feeling all right so oh and then obviously nausea is also a common one um especially when you're like anxious about something or something is just not sitting right with you it can come off as like some nausea as well so where does it come from so it usually it is predictions based on past experiences so if you've been in a situation similar to another situation that you find yourself in um that might be where these feelings arise because you know sometimes our bodies like tend to remember experiences even if we don't remember the experience it's not necessarily like deja vu because you know how deja vu you feel like you were like there before like talking to that person um in that like exact moment that's not really what it is um it's kind of just like where you have been through a similar situation like that before and so your unconscious mind kind of already is like picking out little things that you probably don't even remember and is like making mental note of that but it's also causing your body to like tense up too because of it it's different from anxiety because with anxiety that is usually referring towards the future referring to the future whereas trusting your gut is pretty much in that moment like what you're doing right now and it's usually towards a certain person or a certain situation that you're already in so how do you trust your gut so one the easiest way is to pay attention to your first thought and when someone usually asks us a question we have an answer that we know that we want to say and then we have an answer that we say instead oh so staying true to yourself would mean that you don't go off of the second or third answer to make someone else feel better or you know make the situation or sway the situation in your favor now obviously unless it is a dangerous situation then absolutely um, but we are not talking about dangerous situations. So you want to first pay attention to your, your first thought. After you pay attention to your first thought, next you want to notice sensations in your body. The easiest thing to do though is to slow down. A lot of times we just honestly move so fast and a lot of things could be remedied if we just slowed down okay the next tip is to not be afraid to say what you think and feel what goes along with that and this is a huge one is trusting yourself and honestly that is with any decision that you could possibly make any decision that um any decision that you can make honestly it all comes down to whether or not you actually trust yourself. If you are very indecisive, if you are indecisive, it is honestly probably because you do not trust yourself enough to believe that you are going to do what is best for you. When you are getting into that space of trusting your gut and trusting yourself and your intuition and knowing that you are going to make the right decision for you trusting yourself is key like i cannot stress this enough this is probably i know what did i say was the biggest one i think i said notice sensations like self-awareness is huge 
as well. But, and I honestly, I feel like all of it kind of ties in together. Like if you are self-aware, then you'll know whether or not you trust yourself. So, you know what I'm saying? She's in her bag. She does her research. <laughs> Let's wrap up this makeup child. So I've been doing this makeup for a long time. <laughs> the last tip I have is to um, do your research if something feels off. Like you, it's always okay after the fact to go back and be like, mm, I didn't really feel the best when I made that decision. Um, you know what I mean? Or once you get to like thinking about a situation a little bit more, it is okay to go back, to go back and ponder that situation or go back and look at, you know, what you should have did or think about how you reacted or how your body felt um, during that whole transaction. This is the final look. I had to do that off camera because your girl knows how to chat and we were taking up too much time. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed my makeup tutorial. And like I said, I will definitely be in the works of doing a more detailed sit down, like lashes, eyeshadow, hair, full outfit, full makeup look for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys in my next video.